Hello everyone, hello YouTube, this is Felipe, o Gato de Salto, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to spend your quarantine in a samba productive way. So everyone, I'm here on the beautiful island of Boracay in the Philippines and I got stranded here because I wanted. This is a lot nicer than being at home without being able to work. But before we start, I just wanted to tell you, please don't judge me. Yes, I am out and about, probably breaking a few rules now um, about being in quarantine inside the hotel rooms. But I'm really doing my part, so don't judge me. I'm disinfecting everything that I touch. I'm even wearing this fabulous Louis Vuitton mask. Extremely authentic. I paid 50 cents of an euro for it, so I'm doing my part and I won't tell if you don't tell. <laughs> so let me find a nice tranquil spot to sit down and we can have a chat about how you can spend a very productive quarantine samba. All right, so I found a nice spot. I already went for a swim. <laughs> and snorkel around a little bit. You probably can see the mark of my goggles on my face. But anyway, I'm not here to brag about how wonderful my quarantine has been. I'm here to give you my top 10 ways of spending your time properly and effectively, usefully, when it comes to Samba during this quarantine. Now, I hope you're all safe and healthy, as well as your friends and family. I know being inside your house or your apartment is not something that's very easy to do, even here. Now I got my courage and um, back and decided to go out and they risk um, coming to the beach and having some time on my own. But it's not always like this. And even then, everything else is closed. So I also spend a lot of time indoors. Um, and I am very thankful, even though I've read already five books by now, I'm very thankful that we have internet. I think the internet gives us a source of knowledge that is so extensive and we can basically do everything we want online. So all of these 10 tips or suggestions, if, if you will, are things that you can find online. So you don't need anything, you just need your discipline. And that's the most difficult thing to have, I know, but yeah, you manage. If I can get my hair like this <laughs> and and make a YouTube video for you guys, you can definitely manage to master some discipline. Oh look, someone! To master some discipline and actually do one of these things. So let's start, top 10, go. Okay, so you probably saw that everyone on Instagram is holding live classes. So of course, my first idea, my first tip for you is to stay active and train your samba step. There are even marathons being held um, where many teachers teach on one day samba. Many of the Brazilian teachers are even teaching for free. Um, I think this is a, an excellent opportunity not only for you to practice and to train but also for you to get to know how everyone teaches, like how other teachers teach because I'm sure you've got your trainer um, but you know you might not be able to travel to Australia, for example, or if you're not from London, you might not be able to travel to London or to Spain or to wherever these teachers are. So enjoy this time to check out some online classes, have a feeling for new trainers, new teachers, new methods. I think um, that's a great opportunity. Some of them are paid and I highly recommend you to pay even you know, I'm in a, also a difficult situation because clearly I'm not working and I won't be working for a couple of weeks. So go ahead, give an incentive and financial incentive in this case and perhaps pay for one or two classes or even more if you want with a few teachers and trainers that you don't know. So you have access to new information. Tip number two goes exactly, in my opinion, hand in hand with suggestion number one. Train your posture and train your heels. Now, you're, if you have a lot of time at home, there's no better place for you to actually train and try to do your turkey, if you know what I mean. Um, 
try to get yourself in a good posture and polish yourself to keep that posture throughout the entire day. It might feel weird, you know, but you're at home, so you don't have to feel embarrassed that you're trying to achieve something that is actually good for you, you for your health and also for your dancing. Um, why does that? Why did I mention heels? Well, posture, in my opinion, um, is the key to having a solid heel base. Um, heels in this case, high heels. So you can also try and just keep your high heels on when you're at home. If you've got neighbors dance, downstairs, like been, been underneath you, they might get any, a little annoyed by the noise, I understand. But still, it's a good opportunity for you to practice also the amount of time of, of, that you can spend on your heels, so your resistance. So if you haven't got anything to do, put your high heels on and just like whoever it is here behind me, try, train and persevere and you will see this will get you very far. Suggestion number three. Suggestion number three is also something that I think is a great thing to do during this quarantine. Have a workout. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, just moving. I'm talking about are you satisfied with the way you look? Is there anything that you could change in your body that you would like to change and can be achieved by physical exercise? If yes, go after it. Go looking for, look for information. Hey, read articles online about how to change your body. If you want to um, burn fat, what should you do? What should you eat? Have a, you know, find information about workouts and nutrition, um, hypertrophy. If you want to, you know, enlarge the size of a certain muscle group. So there's a lot of information to be found online about workouts and how to change your body. A good source that I like, I'm going to put the, the link here, not the link, probably if I can in the description of this video, but if not, I'll just write here on the, on the, on the screen. Um, a good website that I really like is bodybuilding.com. Now, you might be scared off by the title, by the name of this website and the domain, but bodybuilding.com is not only for bodybuilders. You know, they have a lot of very, very valuable information. So go inform yourself. Suggestion number four, what about a new costume? Now, I know you and everyone else who likes Samba is also amazed by the beauty of the Samba costumes. So. You don't actually need to make a new costume if you don't have the material, but you can definitely inform yourself where to get the material or how, which designers are around, what are the new designers, is there anyone who is reliable? Um, I work very close together with a friend of mine from House of Freya Samba Costumes. Um, I'm definitely going to tag that on the video here. Um, and the fun thing about having a designer with which you can work in trust and um, reliably is that you you become friends you start imagining things together and creating so you can create your next costume find a model that you like Instagram is good for get for that think of a color the type of feathers and just let your imagination go wild you can try to you can attempt to draw it if you want I am terribly at, terrible at a, draw, a drawing so I don't do that but I you know I keep imagining and sometimes um, you know that Instagram has that tool that you can um, that button that you can save a picture or a video sometimes I save things that are not Samba related I save um, sometimes evening gowns with the with colors that I really like or a certain decorated pair of shoes you know or sometimes even animals like that have a nice color display of feathers for example or just colors that go well together so i save things that will help me create my new costume and i can highly recommend that that's a great source of inspiration use instagram all right so <clears throat> our, my next suggestion to you suggestion number five is um what about the carnival Try to find out more about Carnival in Rio and in Sao Paulo, but it's not only finding out more about it. I have tens of videos here on this channel about it. But have you watched the parades this year? Maybe you should. That's a great thing to do. Watch the parades, get familiar with the schools, know what they sing about, what their, what their theme is. 
Um, and that also goes with a further suggestion that it is know the past winners. If, on, on YouTube, um, you can possibly find some, some video materials from those, but on the internet, especially on Wikipedia, you can Google, um, you can find and search for the winners of the past years, all of the winners since the beginning of the history of Carnival. So probably you don't have to go back that far in time, but know the last couple of years and the winners, and listen to their songs and get familiar with their songs because most of them became classics. Most of the winner songs are classic songs that are still played nowadays in samba parties, samba festivals, and knowing a song will help with your musicality. So Google the winners, the past winners, and you see great, great things and have amazing sources of music and inspiration for you so that's my suggestion five and six watch the past parades and know the winners from the last years suggestion number eight learn portuguese <laughs> i know that's not as easy as it sounds but it's definitely something that you can start you know there are so many language apps nowadays and websites you know babel whatever that will give you an introduction into Portuguese language. So if you didn't try yet, have a go, you know, learn a few words. You never know, it might come in handy when you're trying to learn Samba or when you go and take a class with a specific teacher or trainer from Brazil. It's definitely, language is always a plus. And trust me, I love languages. So I think being able to speak, you know, even if it's just a couple of words in Portuguese might actually positively influence your outcome of classes you take in the future. So, learn a new language, learn my language, learn Portuguese. <laughs> Vamos, gente, vamos aprender português. Suggestion number eight. What about learning how to play a music instrument when it comes to samba? On YouTube, you can also find amazing classes for tambourine, for shokalu, which is the shaker, um, and, you know, many, many videos and tutorials that will also give you the chance to learn more about music and the musicality. And that is also always going to come in very, very handy when dancing. Believe me, the key to a good performance most of the times is actually knowing the music and knowing the breaks and knowing, feeling the music, feeling how the count goes. So learning how the instruments are played, even if you haven't got an instrument at home, but just understanding how they're played is definitely something that is going to raise up your game. Now, this one is probably very easy and you probably have already thought about it, but what about trying makeup? Suggestion number nine is actually follow some makeup tutorials, try to go crazy and do some crazy things at home. Um, try to come up with new looks that fit you, new color combinations. Do whatever you can because you're at home. I know it's, you know, it sucks a little bit to put all makeup on and then having to take them off because there's nothing to do. But practice make it per makes it perfect and you have time to try some wild new things so why not go ahead and try that amazing makeup look that that person that blogger from instagram can do it and probably she's the only one who can give it a try but here is my last suggestion for today and this one is definitely a good one research and learn about afro-brazilian mythology yes the orishas you probably already heard about them Oshum, Yemanjá, Yansan, Oxóssi there are so many orishas which are gods and um, deities from the afro-brazilian culture and it's very important to know about them yeah, I don't I don't mind I mean it's not you know my decision to make whether you are going to believe it or not but this knowledge is very important for your dancing as well because many movements are also based 
on on the orishas on the history of of the african slaves that were brought to brazil and this voyage this this is it's the origin and the base of many of the movements that we use within samba so researching about afro-brazilian mythology is definitely a great idea to get more information and even when you hear a song for example many samba schools they are always singing about um, orishas or a few words in yoruba salgueiro for example my school we've got plenty of enredos with beautiful orisha based themes shango for example that that was last year um, so why not use the time to actually know who is Shango? Why is he there? What does he do? Does he do? What's his story? You know, so learning about Afro-Brazilian mythology is definitely a knowledge that is interesting, will come in handy to and raise your your the level of your dancing skills, and it's completely free and accessible online. So there you go, my top 10 suggestions of how to spend your time wisely, effectively and usefully for your Samba quarantine. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave your thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Send the link of the channel to a friend. I'm trying to expand this channel. I am not paid to do this. I do this because I like it, even because I want to share information with you. And we will see each other a lot again. I have so many exciting projects coming and I can't wait to share them all with you. So stay safe, stay healthy. If you don't have a Louis Vuitton face mask, it's fine. Just get whatever you have. <laughs> and I'll see you next time with another video from this amazing Samba world. Take care. Bye.